This is the Amp Hour Podcast, recorded April 21st, 2015, episode 246, Ominous Operational Overhaul. Welcome to the Amp Hour. I'm Dave Jones from the EEV blog. And I'm Chris Gamble of Contextual Electronics. Nerd! Nerd! Have you seen the new Star Wars trailer? I have. Oh my god. Oh, I, I had nerdgasm. I think I watched it like three times or so, and then I kind of just sat there and screamed for a little while, and then I kind of <laughs> So you have as well. <laughs> it's that freaking good. I mean, oh yeah. Oh, here's man, here's what I tweeted about. People. Why yeah. doesn't Chewbacca have gray hair? Because he's freaking chewy. But Han Solo has gray hair. Like lots have of Have you it. ever seen a gray haired Wookiee? Have no. you ever seen a Wookiee? <laughs> 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 I mean, I, I guess oh, they goodness. could use like hair coloring or something, but you know. Right. <clears throat> Laser crossbows. Screaming and growling, and then extreme vanity. <laughs> Those are the things that characterize right. Wookies. Uh, <laughs> and limb and limb pulling. And limb pulling, right? Of course. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Oh, yeah I'm, I'm very excited Let about it. Let the Wookie win. Oh, man. And that that uh, that robot thingy that was cool. So that's kind of gotten some buzz going online. Uh, yeah, yeah. I I like. I wish I'd thought of that. Just have a balancing robot on top of a ball. You know, basically. Um, right. That's basically right, well, what it is, so, I think. Well, so people have been talking about So the the robot's called BB-8, and again, if people don't like Star Wars, uh, you're terrible people and you should stop. Li- no, I'm just kidding. Uh, <laughs> but it's it's a robot that they're using in the movie, but then they actually, uh, there was a, a press event that Disney did, and they actually rolled it out, and it's actually a real thing. And then recently they, they yeah. announced that it actually was Sphero, the company that makes the little toy that kind of rolls with an iPhone app and... It's like Bluetooth connected. It actually was oh, that company. They're, they're, okay, they're the ones that made it. Okay, right. Yeah. Uh, but right. the key thing is that no one knows for sure. There's been theories on how it's actually like a two ball. It kind of looks like a mini snowman, just like a two-part snowman. Yeah. Where there's like a little yeah. half ball on top that floats. And so as the ball, ball on the bottom rolls, which, you know, that's, yep. that's a problem that's solved. And you can look at the guts of a sphero, which is, you know, very interesting. Uh, how does the thing stay on top? And then it actually moves independently. And that's that's the cool part. So well, it, I, I I reckon the ball at the bottom does nothing. It it's got nothing in it. It's just a ball. And the one all the electronics and the battery and every and all the and all the stability stuff is done by the guy on the top. Oh, that's interesting. Okay, I wouldn't I, have thought I, that. Yeah, that that's the first thing that went to mind. Oh, yeah, that's obvious. That's it's obvious how they're doing it. The the thing on the top just balances on on top of the ball because it's not like a ball on a ball. It's like a cup. On like a curved yeah. cup on a ball kind of thing, you know, and yeah, it's got right. it looks, little, it looks like and, they and cut it's got a ball the little half, motors, and then it, they yeah. like put a depression in it so it would fit on top and of the, the bottom. And a depression ball. in, yep, yeah. It's, yeah. So it like cups on top, and then it's got obviously rubber rollers under there in certain orientations, which then roll the ball, big ball under it. Oh, yeah, interesting. Large torque motors, and then it balances. It's got a accelerometer there, and it just balances on top. Um, okay. It's it's probably not hugely hard. Well, um, no, the thing that I wasn't sure about, though, I don't know if you saw the video, like, it actually can, the top part can actually tilt forward almost, like, 30, 40 degrees off the off the, the center point of the ball. That would be the hard part. Yep. Um, it would, but because of just it's center of mass. all in the software, right? Well, I mean, there's probably a balance point when it can't, like, where it just, you can't oh, yeah, do it no, anymore. Oh, yeah, no, and it know? won't go past there. It's obviously programmed not to go past that. Balance yeah. point, yeah, yeah, of course. So the course. things that I had heard, I had two, I heard two other things. Well, the first one was magnets, which was you know because it's like the top part's kind of floating on top of this big ball on right. the bottom, and that's reasonable, I guess. But then you can't really get as much motion. And then another one that I didn't, I didn't really think about at all was the ball on the bottom is still doing all the all the heavy lifting and the and the actual rolling and stuff like that. And then what you do is you just have a second robot on top that just knows its orientation, and then it just allows the ball to roll underneath it, and it just reacts to that basically. And then when the top part needs right. to move, it uh, it just basically then that robot on the top part, independently of the bottom one, can move around. Then I I don't really right. know, uh, but definitely a cool piece of tech either way. I mean, 
the fact that we it's need not to get just a CGI. Head in. Yeah, I I'm I'm surprised the company isn't coming out with all the details. You know, get some huge, you know. Well, they're get some uh, huge cred for it. <laughs> They're already talking merchandising, so that's probably why. <laughs> when they uh-huh, when they announced it was Firo, right. they also said, "Oh, and by the way, this will be released at the same time of the movie." Ah, uh, Chris, <laughs> just in time for Christmas, you can buy the BB. Yes, sir. Right. Yes, <laughs> everyone will want one. I, I already got do. it. Yeah. Uh. Oh, <laughs> right. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Very cool. Well, let's just make our own open source hardware one first. You there know, you go. Like, yeah. Or if they patented the stupid concept I, of I a don't know. ball on a ball. Yeah, I don't. Can they do anything if if uh, if you're not intending to sell it? Can they like stop you from publishing what you think it is? I mean, it's not like you stole their designs. No, no, no. Of course, I they they can't. Right. They uh, can't. I mean, it's uh, uh, the like a patent. The definition of a patent is that the information's publicly available. You can rehash and republish that as long as you don't make money from it and compete. Mm, okay. You you can talk about it until the cows come home. I'm sure. Yeah, it's just when you when you go to sell it, or when someone else goes to sell it, then you can take them to yeah. court and have a better shot at winning, yep. kind of thing. Ah, uh, yep. patents aren't they fun? <laughs> oh yeah. No, yeah. no, no. Uh, well, actually, yeah. there was a. Uh, I don't know if you watched uh, last week tonight, but uh, mm. John Oliver, the guy he used to be on Daily Show, he did a he did a, a pretty good a good thing. It was like a twelve minute video about patents. So I do recommend oh, cool. people watch that. He you know he talks All about right. the trolls and just it. kind of the numbers. Yeah, and yeah. It's. Okay. Sup- surprising that they do kind of journalism like this is the new form mm. of journalism is like right vulgar is comedy. comedy shows that <laughs> right okay yeah, yeah. well uh, don't they say that more people in america think that um you know the you know the what's the john stewart, john stewart show the, yeah yeah, uh, yeah the, show. The, you know they yeah the, they, they think that that's actually a real news program like they well, actually it, trust it, that as a yeah, real the news trust part, source yeah. more than you know Right. Well, like, and it, it, yeah. it, I'm, I would be counted. I, would, <laughs> I, tr- I trust the Daily Show over most. Yeah, most yeah, other. Yeah, forms over of, Fox News. Yeah, yeah, yeah exactly. Just any, any, any other ones. It's just like I. Yep. I just care about what they're. <laughs> Anyways, that yeah, that part's silly, but you know, it's but yep. like I mean, like this other this new show as well. Like you know, I'm I'm in the education space. Like they did like a 25 minute report about for profit education and just all the crappy oh, things that nice. happen there. Yeah, yeah. And you right. know, granted, uh, you know, full disclosure, yeah. I I do for profit education, but not like yep. you know, University of Phoenix and ITT Tech and how all those right. operate right. and charge tons of money and you know, student loans and stuff like that. So it's uh yeah. Interesting. It's it's just crazy hmm. that they actually go over that stuff. So uh getting back should... to Star Wars. No, yeah. no, hang on. <laughs> Yeah, go ahead. Go ahead. Yeah. <laughs> I I just last night I it was on TV. I watched uh, Iron Man three, okay. right? And I'm I, you know I I thought it was an awesome movie when I watched it. You know I've watched it a couple of times and I just watched it last night and I thought, you know what I'm I'm sort of so over. Even though I enjoy these movies, right? They're great eye candy, and the and the in jokes are fantastic, right? And like there's one line as galore, right? Yeah. And I love it. But it's just all fake. Oh, the CGI know? stuff. It's yeah, it's just all fake, and I'm going. Oh, look, they're just. It's a, just a movie of fake special effects, a, a fake CGI, green screen stuff, and one and one liner jokes. That's that's basically all it is. There's no, you know, it's all fluff. And I'm thinking, and that's what I'm hoping. See, that's what that's what people are hoping about this new Star Wars, right? Because that's what the yeah. um, that's what the first three, were, as in the you know episodes one, two, and three, right? Which everyone hated, right? Because they were so like CGI oh, right, right, and right. like right, they were so crap, right? And apparently, J.J. Abrams, who's directing the new one, is go you know like as many real world special effects and it's going to be like you know dirty and messy like the original star wars you know it's not going to be yep you know it's like it's going to feel real and that's what you got from this that's what i got from this trailer yeah you know it's going to feel like a real adventure you Definitely. know and kind of thing and yeah and that's what i'm hoping that's what i'm hoping for so well, I um, think we're gonna see. I mean, yeah, to... I think the 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 really magical, you know, like CGI has come a long way, right? I mean, like you think no, you think no. the like you the think? yeah <laughs> the Iron Man stuff's yeah. bad. Go back and watch like the, uh, you know, like Spider the early Spider Mans and like you know like the Spider Man movies when those were coming out and like just all oh they're so terrible. 
But <laughs> I mean, yeah, a lot of that stuff's come a really long way. There's really interesting, mm. you know, the tracking's gotten better and just the rendering engines have gotten better and all that stuff. Um, mm. You know, on the, on the tech but side, it's still really... you. But still, you can't beat a midget in an R two D two robot costume, right? You just, you know, like, or you can't beat a human inside a C three PO costume, yeah. right? right? You just like you. Yeah. <laughs> you know, or just, even like, yeah. or even like, uh, you know, puppeteering and stuff like that. Just having. Oh yeah, 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 totally. Yoda, you know, a, yeah. a real Yoda as opposed to you know CGI Yoda. It yeah, was just, yeah, actually, yeah. yeah. I was watching yeah. a clip of old the old old version of Yoda. And it's like this is so much better, but you know, <laughs> we're right. old, Dave. We're not. Right. We're not the. Uh... Yeah, I know. I know. <laughs> but yeah, anyway, th- that's what I'm hoping. That's yeah. uh, that's you know that's why I think everyone's going ape over this new Star Wars trailer is because it feels. Real, it feels like it'll take us back to the original, you yeah. know, one which was, you know, everything in the Star Wars universe was dirty and messy and real, you <laughs> know, and then yeah. the, you know, Lucas did the other three and yeah, it yeah. was all just, yeah. Anyway, speaking of Wars. dirty and messy and old, uh, what <laughs> the <laughs> <Me>? hell is <laughs> yeah. no, not you? Well, yeah, yeah. Uh, these these pictures you posted. So so oh, tell us about these dude. this collection. Oh. Uh, Oh well, it's a well. I haven't put the video up yet. I've got okay. well. I know. I've I, well. I've posted on the forum, right? So I can talk okay. about it. Okay, yeah. right. So it's not. It's not really a spoiler. I've posted I mean, it's on your Flickr right? set too, right? I mean, this isn't like yeah. yeah it's photos. on my fl- it's on my public Flickr set. So yeah, I've published it on the forum um, because I wanted this to go to somebody who could make use of it, and it did. By the way, um, good. The final buyer of this show will remain. Nameless until they want to become um, public about it. But uh, yes, I put them onto it and it's going to a worthy cause. Anyway, what this is, I found um, some stuff on eBay, right? And I, I won it. This is right? local. 30, local. It's fairly local. Yeah, it's yeah. in uh, yeah, it's in Sydney here, right? And it cost me like 30 bucks. So I went all the way out to pick it up and it's a pretty amazing thing i'll actually leave it until the video i'll leave that one until the video comes out because i haven't posted it yet right so um anyway i went to pick it out up right and there's this you know it's on a big rural property right big house this guy's got this huge shed out the back Uh, well it's like a mini house right it's like a it's like the size of a small house work shed but like uh, it's it's a work shed kind of right you know like yeah 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 totally but it's you know it's really made properly it's got a big concrete floor it's got it looks like a real house right kind of thing but it's yeah the guy's workshop anyway it's a nerdatorium (laughs) it's a nerdatorium so i worked in I, i walked in to pick up the stuff that i was there for and the guy who's selling this, because this guy's moved overseas, right? He's so you get one of these eBay agents to sell stuff for you, right? So anyway, I met the eBay agent there, and he's selling it for this guy who's buggered off overseas, who owns it. And he said, "Oh, there's more stuff. Take a look in the other room." And I walked in the other room, and I <laughs> nearly collapsed. I mean, holy shit! This is the yeah. greatest collection of parts I have ever seen. In my entire life, uh, yeah. just look at the photos. Words uh, like I can I can try and explain it, but um, I have guy, three words: uh, <laughs> obsessive compulsive disorder. Obsessive uh, compulsive disorder. This yes. guy uh, is anyway. so organized, and like I just um like just in, in the it's, best sense of the word, right? I mean, there's there's it is it is a disease for some people, but like this is yeah putting it to very good use uh <laughs> oh it well you could argue it's not as i'll explain in a minute anyway yeah. picture thousands well there's probably like a thousand takeaway containers you know there's clear takeaway containers in, yeah like, like for uh, takeaway you know, food for yeah like chinese for food takeaway or food chinese food yep. yeah exactly and all individually labeled all containing parts all on bookshelves upon bookshelves upon bookshelves stacked of in rows of four Stacked in rows of a twelve high by like a six, a seven wide or something. Oh, four yeah. if you look at the big shelves. Anyway, there's yeah. like ah, oh, there's like a thousand of these tubs, all in all individually perfectly labeled. But right? wait, there's more. Filled with parts. There's more. <laughs> Billy <Inside>. Mays here. <laughs> you are not going to miss out on this deal today. <laughs> <laughs> oh goodness. Which I don't show on the um, photos here, but I will show in the video. Um, I think. Uh, yes, I will. Inside each one of those containers, not only has he perfectly labelled all of his parts and sorted them into these takeaway, thousand takeaway containers, inside each container, 
there's like dozens of Ziploc bags, all individually with parts individually sorted into Ziploc tiny zip, those little, you know, those little tiny ones, you know, yeah. like an right, inch right, right. by two yep. inches or whatever. Yep. Inside, yeah, all parts individually sorted in those, all labelled and categorised, and he's got a whole spreadsheet as well to index this entire collection. Yeah. <laughs> it's just this is the guy you want to hire as your shit. your lab manager, except for when uh, you actually totally. need a part and you forget to sign yeah. one out. <laughs> uh, right, <laughs> you, you know that you know that you know that yep, time yep. like that's a bad uh, time. <laughs> <laughs> yep, and 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 the guy like and it hadn't been listed on eBay yet, and the guy who was selling it said, "Yeah, I don't know what to do with all this shit," and it's like, <laughs> "Make me an offer," and I'm just like, my head's just spinning, yeah. you know, like, and <laughs> it was like, I have to go home and think about it, dude. It's yeah. like, what do I pay for all this? But anyway, so after my initial shock, thinking this is the greatest collection ever, I started to actually look in some of the containers, and. I, I just assumed that all the parts would be new, right? Silly right. me. Right. right. You thought it was like a guy who's a, like a part broker who yeah, buys like and a stores part, parts. Yeah, he, he, he bought out an old store or he used to own yeah, an old right. electronic parts store or something, right? You know, and these are all old stock or something, right? Yeah. And, then you know, especially the ICs and things like that. You know, he's got all these cabinets on, you know, regular parts cabinets on the wall with uh, you know, IC trays. And they're all, you know, perfectly labeled. And I started opening them and I went... These are all used. <laughs> this guy has desoldered every freaking part. Yeah. There's hundreds of thousands of parts here. And I'm talking not just the ICs that have been desoldered from boards. I'm talking the resistors. They're still bent with the leads right angle cut flush to the board. Like, there's boxes full of these things. You know, diodes, transistors, everything desoldered <laughs> from freaking boards. Yeah. So based on my estimate, there was only like less than five percent of new parts there. It was almost all of it was secondhand salvage parts. Unbelievable! I, I, yeah, I just I can't. I don't have words for it. Like I know, I, <laughs> like I, all just... I can imagine is like this is the result of like, like it was like a calming is a calming habit of like oh well. I got home from work. I'm gonna go desolder some stuff from a board because it. Yeah. But man, yeah. <laughs> because, like, and just do it over and over and over again for year after year after year after year, and holy crap! Anyway, it's the greatest collection I've ever seen, but it's also the most useless collection right. I've ever right. seen. <laughs> that, right, and that's it, it's that's like, what that's yeah. what's crazy, right? And, and and that's ultimately why I didn't buy it. And it turns out that the guy that the guy who was selling it did put it up on eBay. And I was just like debating for a week, like should I tell anyone? Because like, I didn't want to tell anyone because I thought I might bid on it. Right? I didn't right. want to yep, yep. be you know competing. Again. You know, I'm a bit selfish. You know, I, you know, I want to get it all. It's well, mine. you have your, you it, have your you know? eBay uh, habits. <laughs> those, those habits exactly. die hard, right? <laughs> yeah, yeah, exactly. You know, I'm not like going to let somebody else nab it. You know. Um, especially when I can potentially make you make use of it a lot better than anyone else could in terms of you know videos for it and maybe yeah. giving it given tubs away to people you know to viewers and you know yeah anything or, but I don't you know, know man I don't anyway I decide no it'd be a world of hurt yeah it'd just be a world of well, hurt I would I wonder to get too this. can you imagine like buy, buying on eBay like you see all these pictures and you buy it on eBay and you get the spreadsheet and stuff like that and then like the eBay agent shows up <clears> and like he's just put it all in one pile <laughs> he just right. like dumps it on your front <laughs> yeah, lawn yeah. he's like well here you go <laughs> oh and, my god and that's the thing it would have taken me a whole day to to just Get all the stuff out, put it in the back of a ute, fill a ute, like the yeah. entire ute oh, tray. Oh, yeah, you'd need, right? you'd need truck, a, a, you call a them. big moving car, a moving truck, yeah, right? Yeah, exactly. And, like... and then and then fill it like the full volume of the tray, right? Yeah. Fill it and then take it down to my bloody bunker and then I'd take another day <laughs> offloading it all and then another week just <laughs> like... But then you have to break the. Then you have to break the bad news it. to Dave too. <laughs> yeah, he's got to sort it all out. <laughs> and then what do I do with it? They're all freaking secondhand desoldered parts. Well, I think, and all. And by yeah. the way, all of it's through hole. Yeah. All of it. Yeah. None of it is modern surface mount parts. None of it. Yeah. I so think it's what like, you'd really do what? is you'd, you'd sell all the tubes or, you'd, you know, you could do stuff with the tubes. There's a bunch oh, of tubes the there. the tubes are separate. No, no, no. The tubes are being sold oh, separately. Were. Okay. Yeah, 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 yeah. They're a different. They haven't put those up on eBay. They're, they're worth a those, small fortune. The tubes. Those will go for a lot, niche yeah. market for those, yeah. Yep. 
Anyway. Yeah, oh. I mean, they should definitely like break those up too and sell them all separately. You <laughs> They're know? thinking about selling them in per uh, tray. That's what he was talking yeah. about. Yeah. Yeah, that's the right yeah, way to do per, it. Yeah, Yep. But man, so, uh, oh. here's I, if if I could talk to this guy, or if anyone ever sees this guy or yep. knows him, or you know, I know his name, David Sparks. Well, we David say Sparks that on the air, is Dave. his name. I mean, why? Anyways, uh... <laughs> well, I've I'm go- I've, I've said it in my video, so it's going to be released publicly. Oh, okay. Anyway, no, uh, I'm I'm I, like, I'm in my, awe my, of this. My like for real, hat is off. Yeah, my my hat is off to this guy, and he but des- I would just, it deserves I... to be publicly acknowledged that this yeah, yeah, that yeah. this collection exists totally. But so, what know, I would question um, is, is was like, what was the motivation behind it? And then how often did he actually exactly. use it too, right? I mean, that, I know. Because that's the thing. I would like, love to know that. Like, we all know, like, we have stuff on our benches. Like, I have, you know, trays of components on my bench and stuff like yeah, that. Yeah. But it, it is like the easiest thing to mess up. You know, like, it, you really mm. do need to be very, very dedicated to this kind of thing. And so, something like this, especially where he's desoldering it as well, it's like, yep. You know what? What did you use this for? And what, like, why is this? He, you know, like that's what. It, yep, yep. It's it's like part archaeology. You know, like. <laughs> yeah, I know. And, and <laughs> sometimes <laughs> it's just too <laughs> hard. <laughs> 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 oh, that was Sorry. This brought to you by George Lucas. This show brought to you by. Royalties payable yeah, yeah. to <laughs> Lucasfilm Limited, Disney. Right. Right. Uh, <laughs> um. <laughs> Uh, yeah, um, what was I going to say? Yeah, uh, like often I have not been able to find parts in my disheveled collection. So like I know I've probably got that part somewhere, but I've went, oh, screw it. I'm just going to order it from Farnells, you know, because I can't find it. Yeah, right, right, You know, right. like uh, if you do this, you've got to do it properly. Yeah, it's all or nothing, have, right? You know, it's like, yeah. You, yeah, yeah, you, totally. Yeah, yeah, you get one thing out of sequence yeah. and you're like, no, nope, well. That was a good run. <laughs> See you later. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> That's it. <laughs> man. Oh man. Anyway, can anybody beat this? Can anybody yes. somebody Work on the forum of the claims world. <laughs> Okay, well there's somebody on the E V blog forum where I mentioned this who reckons this guy's an amateur and his collection just like embarrasses this one. And I'm saying post the photos and going, Oh yeah, yeah, you know. Anyway, I yeah. Okay, then ask I that really... guy. Okay, uh, even if someone delivers a sim- similar or smaller subset yep. of components, ask them about maintenance times on this kind of thing. Uh-huh. And, and like, man. Yeah. But no, like, I, I reckon, like, somebody might have more components, perhaps. Yeah. Right? But I reckon it's not going to be sorted, like, and categorized nearly yeah. as ob- obsessively as this guy did it. I, it's just, oh, it's stunning. It's yeah, just... but please, everyone listening, send it. Yeah, your, yeah. Uh, you know, post them to Reddit <laughs> or send us a link. You know, post it to image you are and, and put it in the yeah. uh, put it in the comment section. We'd love to see it. We haven't done workbench of the week in a long time. Time. Uh, this can be what component collection of the week. This is of send the, in your the component collection. Decade. Photo man. of your component. I know. <laughs> it's I. You know. You can. You imagine just walking in there. Like I just walked in there and. You know, uh, I, I, I just went, holy, you know, like, <laughs> I, I like bowed down to this thing. Yeah, it was just, yeah. oh. You and know what then, this is? But, you know what this is? Yep. This is the, you know how like there's like, uh, what is it, like electrons and positrons and if they ever meet each other, they annihilate into pure energy type right. of thing? <laughs> this is the exact, the the polar opposite of Jim Williams's bench. Like we found it, right? Right. You know, like, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> for as messy as that was, this is this is tidy. So. Oh man, this is incredible! It's incredible, but it's useless. I could have got this for five hundred bucks, right? This entire collection, but it's useless. Yeah. Well, you have pictures it, of it the. It is uh, abs- You know. Looks like he poked and, them into like foil almost. Oh, yeah. Like, oh yeah, yeah. The ICs. Yes, yes. He's poked the or foil, uh, foil covered foam or something. I've never seen know, that. I've never school. seen foil before. I've seen yeah, a lot of foam. Foil covered foam. That's that's very common. It's bad. Really? It's a really bad way to do it because the foam is, you know, terrible stuff. But yeah. um yeah, yeah. Anyway, it's just oh unbelievable. Yeah, it's useless. I would have had to th- like I would have kept it and just you know, ogled it like, yeah, look at my collection. And <laughs> yeah, then right. done nothing with it and well, then and ten I think years time just throw it out. You know, well like, this is kinda like the you know, the whole thing. <sighs> it can be it can it can become uh an obsession either way right i mean like uh yeah i don't know test equipment uh <laughs> right you know, yeah, yeah. how often do you use all those scopes on the shelves and like, i granted i know that it's different uh, but now but I, like uh, but i do right because i use them in the videos right often i'll drag one out and do a comparison right i'll 
like okay, use but, them. Okay, but there know? are some people that, that, you know, it becomes a, the thing is the collection. Oh, oh sure, sure. More yeah, than, yeah, you know, like, right. oh, well, I don't know, I yeah. might need it. And it's like, yeah, you know, you know, like, but... Yeah, yeah. You know, for so much of the stuff that most people are doing, you mm. know, having a collection like that, it's like, how often are you going to be using all of these parts and, and in this no, volume? It's not and worth and, it. Yeah, exactly. And when, and when if you can it get is, it delivered, especially in the if you're in the US or something, you get it delivered next day by DigiKey, right? right? I mean, exactly. And, what's, and maybe what's, yeah, what's the maybe point? Tw- maybe 20, 30 years ago, this is because you didn't, you couldn't get that stuff, right? You know, exactly. So yeah, maybe maybe that yeah, makes yeah. sense then. But, but man, this right, right. He just kept going. Well, that's that's right, right? This guy might have started this collection twenty years ago when the internet didn't exist, basically, right? And yeah. there was no online ordering. There was. You know, and yeah, Farnell exists like here in Australia, right? Yeah, there was Farnell and RS components back then, but they, like, they were ten times. If you think they're expensive now, you should have seen them fifteen years ago, right, right? Right? It was like that was so expensive, and and you had to have a corporate account with them, right? right? Yeah, and you, you buy everything you know, and cut it. it, it and- Yep. Yeah, it was just, it's not the same as it is these days. And yeah, so having a hoarded collection like this was was the go. But it's just, you know, totally, and it's all through hole. I mean, it's all old school, all, you know, I hate to use the word obsolete, right? But, right, because it's not. It's just the, it's just know, the form no, factors. But, like, you you can still get 7-4 series logic and a lot of people, you know, it's still used in, you know, right. a lot right. of designs, but it's not but usually dip, dip packages. No, I mean, <laughs> but, but you can, like, but you can't even plug these chips into a breadboard because they're all bloody desold and all the legs are bent. No, oh, yeah, right. And 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 they still got the little yeah. and still got yeah. the little solder blobs and the PCB turrets that have pulled out of the board. You know, stuck to them. It's like, yep. God, it's junk. I hate to say it's the most marvelous collection of useless junk I've ever seen in my life. Yeah. Anyway, move on. <laughs> anyway, yeah. I, I did get something from this guy's collection, so I, I'll leave that until. And Dave the will have a video coming soon, maybe. Yep. Yep. Okay. It's already edited. I just haven't uploaded it yet. Okay. Anyway, it anyway all this stuff um, did go to uh, probably the best place it possibly could. So good. Good. Yep. That's good to know. Yep. Yep, that's why I didn't bid on it. So, so you know, okay, if I, think... I did, I would have just given it away. If I bid yeah. on this, I would have just got a few videos out of it and then just given it all away. You know, kept, you wouldn't do kept you wouldn't do it like what stuff, people right? do with cash when they and... make it all into ones and then roll on the bed with it kind of thing. Oh, right. <laughs> then you'd have like dip pins stuck all over your. You know, you'd have dip anyway. packages stuck to your body. It would be really painful. Yeah, right. No. Yeah. Anyway, I I got something <laughs> almost as obsessive as yeah. this collection from him so you'll have to wait and see okay Okay. anyway and i i i actually haven't looked through it or i've looked in very few of what i've actually got from what i picked up um so i need to do a second video on that so there'll be a first video showing you what it potentially is and then after that i need to like shoot a video just um looking through the entire collection yeah to see what's there so anyway cool move on yeah. Uh, Next. Come on. You're supposed to have a segue. Just oh, that time I don't have ready one. Ready to go. Yeah. Uh, right. well, I, actually, no. I did want to talk a little bit more about that though, because I think this is relevant. You know, like what does that look like these days? Like, how do you store? How do you store your components these days? Like. Uh, well, I well I do have one of those rotating towers that I made. I made. Oh, I just watched oh, okay. an awesome video yesterday. Right. Um. Uh, Adam Savage, right? It's in his nerd cave, right? It's in his nerd. How he sorts his parts. He's got these like uh, clip mechanical stuff, or boxes. also or like, yeah, or yeah, like uh, no, and also switches and things like that. You know, so there is some electronicy type parts in there. Um, and yeah, he's he bought these uh, clip like these, you know, cases. They've got like a clear lid on them right and little compartments inside right but they're like like not fixed compartments they're like little trays that you can pull out right and then he's got these all stacked in a custom rack anyway i'll link in i'll link in the video and um yeah yeah, watch that and it's just yeah it's awesome and our local hardware store has like a cheap ass version of it but they're very expensive the ones he used are very like they're like 60 bucks per you know, tray or something, you right. know, they're very well, it's, expensive. It's an do. investment, Dave. It's an investment. It's an investment. Yeah, yeah exactly. <laughs> so anyway, yeah. there are cheap versions of these things and, and they're really nice. Um, Yeah, but I, I, I just use one of these rotating, Uh, you know, uh, I made my own rotating cabinet thing. 
Okay. So, which I haven't sorted yet. That's one of uh, Dave Two's jobs. <laughs> yep. Sorry, David Two. He he doesn't like to be called Dave. Apparently hates it. Yeah. Why do you yeah. call him David yeah. then? We don't call you David. He won't. He won't. <laughs> restore, I hate the name David. I hate well, there you go. There is not David too. So, it's just David. Know, so I call him Dave. <laughs> I'm the only one who's allowed to call him Dave. But gotcha. it does. I think it does piss him off. So, yeah. What if you called him <laughs> the just, David, or like <laughs> right? <laughs> I don't know. Uh, R two. There you go. D two. Dave two. Yeah. yeah. There you go. R two. Yeah. Revision two. Mm. Dave two. <laughs> right. <laughs> anyway. Um. Yeah, so I still have to sort of, like, I've still got my original parts cabinets from when I was, like, 10 years old, right? Dang. And they've still got the parts from and back And they're made then, out of right? granite, folks. They're... Yeah, they are. Yeah, <laughs> Flintstone style, yeah. He carried them up hills both <laughs> ways each time he went to school. And, <laughs> and was... I'm, I, I, I am going to throw them out. I'm going to, so once I get the parts out of there that are still relevant, yeah. um, then, you know. Like, but that's the thing, right? In some of my uh, tutorial videos, for example, if I'm breadboarding a chip, often you might see a chip in there that I, that is, you know, even secondhand that I desoldered from a board thirty years ago, right? Back yeah, when right, I, right, right. I, 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 I did this thing, right? I did, I desoldered parts because that's what you did thirty years ago, right? But uh, not to this sort of, you know, <laughs> that sort of insane level with. Yeah, been right talking right. about, but yeah, I, I or I'm using, you know, like, or it might be a brand new part, but it is thirty years old, you know, and I pull it out of the foam. Hey, you haven't touched this in thirty years. Whacking in the breadboard still works. Yeah, well, you know? uh, like a you know, the a transistors are made on the two hundred fifty micro or two hundred fifty uh, <laughs> yeah. nanometer process, right? So it's like <laughs> yeah, 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 exactly. They'll work a treat. <laughs> well, nanometers, got, 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 nanometers, microns. Yeah, point two five micron. No, what? as in like five micron process or something. Oh, we're going that far back, huh? I guess. Yeah, be... we're 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 talking chips from the seventies. Oh yeah, I guess that would be a lot bigger, huh? Yeah. <laughs> I I don't know. Well, I don't know the timeline of process technologies, but it'd have to be in the microns. Yeah, not that's true. I guess. I guess nineties uh, was probably two hundred fifty nanometer type stuff, right? Or it would right. be. Yeah, yeah, no, totally. Would be three twenty so, yeah, nanometer so... was the node. So. Right. Anyway, yeah. they still work. You know, I've actually I. Have yet to encounter an old chip I've pulled out, you know, from 20, 30 years ago, and it hasn't worked. So they're yeah. pretty robust things. Yeah. Chips, oh, yeah, yeah. Um, well, the know. old ones, yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah, not like this new one. Uh, <laughs> speaking, of, <laughs> see, speaking of process nodes, uh, this was an, I mean, it was announced a while ago, but they're actually finally qualified. Uh, TSMC, you know, like the, the big, the big uh, chip fab foundry. Yep. They yep. just, they just. Uh, what have they done? Qualified their their new process, which and it's is the sixteen nanometer FinFET, right? Which is like, okay, smaller than what we have now. I get that, right? Like right now we're twenty two. It's going down to sixteen. Right. But the core voltage is point five five volts. <laughs> oh, <geez. laughs> oh, why couldn't they have made it point five five five? Seriously, why? guys, you're not even thinking. <laughs> yeah. I reckon every voltage reg should be tweaked to 0.555 volts. Make it so. <laughs> <laughs> oh. <laughs> yeah. 0.55 volts. I mean, I, oh, I just don't I even know how to how to do. I mean, whatever. <laughs> <laughs> right. <laughs> Uh, as if we need another freaking voltage rail, you know. I've I've done designs that have six different voltage rails, you know. Like uh, it's just and, and it's just for basic digital stuff, you know. It's crazy. Yeah. Well, yeah, exactly. And a lot of it, I mean, like yeah, because you have mm. like the uh, PLLs internal, and those need their own clocks, and then analog. Yeah, yeah, and yeah. You know, so you'll do like you know five IO. volts. You'll do three point three. You'll yep. do two point five. You'll do one point eight. Yep. You'll do one point. Two. Oh, you There's need to do five, the uh, the DDR right? two or the DDR half voltage, right? That's for You're right. Uh, so yeah, you can yeah, double clock exactly. the double yeah, clock the that's memory. That's right. Yep. You know, so like six. Like, it's nothing to do six rails on a digital board, yeah. right? On a modern complex digital board. Yeah. You know, it's you know five is like practically every modern high end board is going to have four or five bloody rails on it. It's ridiculous. Yeah. Yeah. I'm uh, I'm going through. Some of that right now. I'm not to the point where I care about the rails yet, but I'm still. Uh, I think I mentioned a week or two ago. Maybe I just mentioned right. on Twitter. But I'm I'm in the process of picking out a micro for for contextual electronics. Did I mention mm. that? No. Oh, uh, yes, yes. Yeah, I, I think did. you did. Yeah. 
Well, we talked about it. Yeah, and, or and so I actually, I was at yep. I was actually at an event today. I even went to a, like a hmm. I went to like a marketing event. <laughs> By oh, free scale. God. Yeah, I know. But that's no, it's it, pretty folks. Good. He's officially jumped no, the no, shark. No, 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 no. It wasn't. It wasn't like a marketing event. Like, like I like inviting marketers. It was like they were marketing parts to the the people in the area, kind of thing. Like they were. So you know, it was like dude. a tech day kind of N- thing. Where they're... none of us are buying it. None of us are buying the differentiation there. What there was there was engineer. No. There was tons of engineers there. I w- <laughs> I was going as an engineer. <laughs> to Dave. the dark side of the Damn force. <laughs> 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 Uh, oh yeah. man. Uh, but yeah, I mean it's tough and and like you know the thing with with freescale too like I didn't ask this question explicitly but like hmm. you know all of what I've been kind of going back and forth with is like all of these different arm flavors and stuff like that and I you know it is what it is like you know it's hmm. fine there's arm there's tons of arms out there and I can pick one but like in this case I was at freescale and it's like well, didn't you guys just get bought by NXP? You know, it's just like that kind of like that. Well, what happens if I, you know, like at, not not like I have like a high risk product or anything like that, but you mm. know, you start to think about that stuff, and you can't really ask that question because they're just going to say like, "Oh no, 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 it'll be fine." You know, <laughs> of course they'll say that, <laughs> and it's like, no, NXP oh, bought man. Freescale. There could be big bad stuff happening, but I don't know. You got to kind of kind of roll the oh. dice. So. Speaking of big bad stuff, what's yeah. this about? Uh, you linked in a Wired article about John Deere, yeah, destroying the very idea of ownership, and it comes down to there's a. I know we're talking about tractors here, folks, but uh, it's it's totally relevant. Um, stick with me. They claim that you don't when you buy a tractor now you don't own it right. because it contains code, right? That belongs to them. Right. Yeah, that's you know, uh, there's microcontrollers in there. It contains code. It's ours. You don't own that tractor. It's ours. You only we only license it to you. Yeah. What the freak? Like th- this just has like implications. Just like when I drink beer, I don't I don't buy beer. I just I just uh, I just borrow it for a little while. <laughs> right. <laughs> yeah, because it gets recycled. We're all made of recycled atoms. So, right. Exactly. You know, it's yeah. like yeah, yeah, yeah. We 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 belong to the universe. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <clears throat> Oh, good. But th- this has implications for every product. Well, yeah. I mean, you imagine know? this and, now. Uh, you know, so extend this now to cars. Like, I mean, there's ton. There's more. Yeah, there's more you, firmware you in a car than there is a tractor, you know? probably, right? Um, yeah. And well, it's, yeah. So now, like, farmers are talking about. Well, I don't want to buy your tractor, and I'm going to buy an old tractor that doesn't have firmware, right? And then it's mine, you know. And it's like, ah, uh, you know, is this the way companies are going? Are they so obsessed with keeping? You know, with owning everything. Uh, well, the answer well, is probably yes. Well, some a good a good lot of them are. I mean, you could. It all comes down to like uh, you know marketplace, right? If if you don't like it, you could go buy something else. Unfortunately, it's probably that going to be right. that all of them do this. You know, if one does it, exactly. they're probably all going to do it. And uh, yeah. yeah, yeah, right. So I you have to let st- you have to I mean, let the marketplace decide. Yeah, but I don't know if you know, like track. I mean, like so so. I have family members that are like, you know, live out in the, the boonies and used to farm and have, have gotten away from it. But like, like those things are like really, like those things are easy half a million dollars. Like most of the oh, time yeah, people buy them anyways. You know, like these are, yeah, yeah. these are serious, this is serious This why you buy them second equipment. hand, right? Which is why you right, buy them second yeah. hand. Yeah. Right. Uh, yeah. But, and yeah. Right, usually it's... you don't even do that. You just lease them. I mean, it's just like you lease, right. you know. Right. Okay. Just, right. Because buying them outright yep. is, is so tough. And then. And then, Got it. Uh, even when you do, you know, if you need like the firmware mm. updates, stuff like that, you need you need service plans anyway. So it's just like, it's just farm farming oh. is big business anyway. So yeah, uh, no, no. But I think I anyway, think more broadly, vast... this yeah, this this is just an argument about about you know, do you own your stuff when you buy it, right? So let's take it to a small level, right? Do you mm. do you have the right to, or how about you know stuff we've talked about on here before? Do you uh, have the, the right, right to? Do you have the right to hack your oscilloscope? Right? Exactly. Do you own I mean, the like, code that comes in it? Right? Yeah. Uh, Do you have the right to hack it? You know, and we, I think we've come to the conclusion that yes, we should, right. regardless think, of whether or not legally we have the right. I, I think you know morally yeah, we should. I, th- I think you know in terms of enforcement, like I don't think that we we don't argue that you know like IP is a thing, right? I mean, like, and you know, mm-hmm. companies are gonna, you know, there is we research totally dollars involved. We totally understand and respect IP. Totally. Yeah. But if you're going to give us, if you're going to sell us something, and you've hidden 
something yeah. inside of there. And if we happen to find a way to exploit it, well, tough tits to you. That was your risk. Right, right. You and know? I think the only thing that the only recourse is if, if you know, if, if Dave goes and he finds an exploit on a, on a scope, you know, it, the only time that you can be prosecuted is if you publish it online, right? Because then you're, you're not doing it to your product. You're allowing, you're, you know, basically endangering their their product cycle on you know yeah, like... but I don't like no I don't like the I I don't support the idea of anyone being sued for publishing information. I'm like I'm like have a fundamental hmm. yeah. Issue I think this is where that. we landed on this last right? time too. I, I remember so, we talked about but, this. But, but if I was to go and sell hacked scopes, okay, if I was to go buy the cheap scope, hack it, and then resell it as a yeah, this is the high end scope right ha ha i hacked it then fine sue me yeah right but uh, publishing information no no sorry oh uh, yeah nope. okay i don't know if i i mean i i probably agree with you in principle but i think that in terms of when because it's h- a thin edge, edge of the wedge this, yeah. right it's a th- it's it's the we use your metaphor the thin edge of the wedge the slippery slope right mm. that goes to you know and you end up with the shit that uh, you know, all of the, you know, the, um, you know, the Edward Snowden and the, you know, yeah, yeah. The, the whole release of information and all that sort of jazz, right? It's like, uh, you know, and all of, and how governments are cracking down on rights of journalists now, right? Even in Australia, we've got now, they, they actually pass ridiculous <laughs> Dave, journalistic I you laws. I, I, I can go I, I to jail. Know, I know where you're going with this stuff, right? and I think you might be getting what? a little off, a little off kilter. Like, <laughs> I, I know, I, no, yeah, I agree, and a, I'm sure that you know, a, I'm sure. Yeah. Uh, but yeah, no. Anyway, okay. okay, stop me. All right. Yeah, yeah. Uh, well, I think another interesting point in here, and, and actually something that someone brought up on the uh, subreddit earlier in the week before this came out, was the fact that uh, New York and Minnesota, two states in the United States, uh, introduced fair repair legislation. Basically, Ooh, on the same that? thing. So basically, uh, encouraging and or punishing making like uh, uh, obsoleted, uh, unrepairable products. Yeah. Right. We we have similar laws in this country in some way, shape, or form. I'm not up on them, but it's like uh, you know, major companies have to like hold a certain percentage of parts for a certain number of years for certain products, Yeah. right? So it's not like you can sell a fridge and then not have any parts available for it. You know, right. it's like, you know, as part of doing business, you're forced to sort of make right. you know, and parts I think available that makes for the next I, 10 years or something. I think, yeah. I think you know, it also kind of feeds into the whole idea of like recycling and stuff like that as well. Like, mm. you know, if you can't repair it, it should need to be recyclable then, you know, because basically it's, right, right. you know, how do you... How do you decide, you know, when basically when companies are going to just try and churn, churn you through these, uh, you know, devices that can break very easily and you don't have a choice, then, yeah, then, then there could start to be a big environmental impact and also, you know, a big impact to consumers who are buying this thing. You could say, well, it's in the marketplace, but then if everybody does it, then, yeah, you're kind of screwed. Yeah, right. So I'm yeah, not sure. Yeah, so you've got to have some sort of yeah. government legislation. Yeah, I don't know, know how I would feel about like, uh, like New York state government uh I, I don't know how that would actually be uh determined right like <laughs> uh, yeah but yeah whatever uh it's mm. interesting either way and and i think i mean it's all just like it's all kind of all part of the same argument right if you buy something do you own it and do you have right. recourse yep. for something poorly made in order to you know bring you back in as a consumer as a consumer again like should 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 you be able to buy quality things that last for a long time and i think and, and you know and, and fix them and update them and stuff like that and i think the answer is yes so well some people will say oh it or it'll it once again it comes down to let, let the market decide you know if the market decides they want to become a throwaway society then that's what society becomes yeah. you know or if they decide that they want to pay for high quality products that last a long time then they should you know emerge as the natural winner based on what society you know, people vote with their wallet, you know? and Yeah, well, yeah, there's, yeah, always, there's always that piece, so. It's, yeah, it's tough. Tough thing. Hey, MakerBot <laughs> laid off 20% of its staff. Speak, speaking of throwing things away. Uh. Yeah, the MakerBot just threw away 20% of their new, I think it's new, mostly New York staff, 
I think. Well, I think that that's the only that's place they have the staff, only place, isn't it? I'm pretty they... sure, yeah. Right, okay. Yeah, so, right. so I had, yep. I had anyway. mentioned that, you know, you don't need to, uh, you know, you don't need to have as many people when you're making stuff overseas. And it's, uh, <laughs> you know, someone did bring up that they do still assemble in Brooklyn, uh, New York, where, where a lot of that yes. is. But I think basically all the pieces are are outsourced. That's That was where my mistake was. So, um yep. Yeah, anyway, I'm they surprised anyone? <laughs> no, no, they they they've got a new CEO. It's not Bree Pettis anymore. He's off yeah, into Stratasys neither. land, you know. Well, Jenny Loss is so, it Lawson? No, Jenny. Something. I have no I idea who the CEO name. is. Oh, yeah. Jonathan Laglam. No, it was. He's the new CEO. Jenny Lawton was the yeah. Jenny Lawton was the the CEO before that. So, and she was oh, part of the oh, company. I d- yeah. Oh, I didn't know they had gone through. Another yeah. CEO. Yeah, oh, yeah. Have really? you watched? Uh, okay. Have you seen? Have you watched Print the Legend yet? Do we? Nope. I think I mentioned it on here. Um, it's about uh, Print the Legend is on Netflix and I'm sure various other online sources. Uh, <laughs> and <laughs> I thought I mentioned it, but it's basically it was a uh, documentary about uh, MakerBot and then uh, oh, okay. right. who's the MIT cool. one with the the goop the the orange printer <laughs> uh oh yes one. yes i know that i know the one the yeah the sla printer or whatever yep the, uh yes form yes, labs i know that's it form labs yes yeah form labs right uh and it was got it it was really well i, I like i said i think i've talked about this on mm. the show before but it's really well done it kind of showed the internal workings and just the okay. struggles and all the crap that went on so um so yeah, if people are interested in that kind of thing, I, I'm not personally very surprised by this. You know, <laughs> it's like their MakerBot is part of the big machine now. You know, they're part of Stratasys. They're going to be. Oh yeah, they're the know, part like, of yeah, exactly. Yeah. And they're going through CEOs like there's no tomorrow, and looks like they're going through employees like there's no tomorrow. So they marched them out. Um, they like they had security march them out. Oh, Have oh, you the, ever the actually been fired where you had had security escort you out? I don't think I've ever worked anywhere that. Oh, I worked at uh, at Samsung. They had security, but no, I I, I was not. I've never been. I've right. never been fired yet. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> right. Come on, folks. We all know it's coming. <laughs> <laughs> Although I, I work for myself sometimes now, and I think that'll be you know yep. like you know. No. So. <laughs> no, I, I used to work at a company where I oh, maybe I've told the story before, but um, this was back in oh, I don't know ninety four. Uh-huh. And while every you know they called a big meeting together, every, everyone was in a big room, and while everyone was in this room being told that they're uh, you know they're you know sacking a third of the company, right? Um, uh, the all the um, security and IT staff are outside actually taking everyone's computer. Oh my god! So that disgrunt, so that disgruntled <laughs> employees, when they come out of the meeting, going, oh, "I'm formatting the network drive. Screw you!" You know. So they actually took your computer while wow. you were in the, yep. And then <laughs> once you came out of the meeting, there was security going. They watched you collect your things from your cubicle, and they escorted you out the door. You know. And yep. Yeah, that's that's pretty messed up. <laughs> yeah. I so, mean, it's tough, right? I mean, like, like we. I, I mean, I, I'm guessing it's in other industries too, but like. My identity is severely tied up in what I work on. You know what I mean? Like, right, right. Like, I get angry when you call me a marketer. You know, like <laughs> maybe for other reasons, but you know, like, and I think right. that's, you know that's just a lot of. I, I'm sure it's a lot of things. You know, it's, it's human nature, just to you know, or maybe it's whatever it is. But I, I'm very tied up in that identity of engineering, right? Mm-hmm. And yep. uh, that really that hurts when whenever someone loses their job because like it's like. Hey, you know this thing you've been doing for eight plus hours a day for yeah, I know. twenty years yeah. of your life. <laughs> uh, yep, it's yep. Because of forces it outside of your control, for it gets sold for four hundred dollars. Yeah, oh, God. sorry. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I yeah. And remind anyway. there is a uh, in Arrested Arrested Development, which is a show uh, that was on Fox a long time ago. But they, they talk, the the boss like walks him. He, he's like, "Oh, it's it's get new computers day," and he and they all move their their office equ- equipment out into a truck. And they're like, "All right, so where's the new computers?" He's like, "There there isn't any. You're all fired." <laughs> <laughs> nice. Oh my god. Yeah. <laughs> oh, I love it. It's it, yeah. It, it's that it, it sucks though. Um. So I do yeah. feel bad for the people that get laid off. Um, you know, mm. I, I don't think we said that. But. So, some people take it really bad, yeah. you know. Like me, it's like, eh, water off a duck's back, you know. 
I couldn't care less. In fact, in you know, I'm happy. Yay! All right. I, I remember. I remember when. Uh, yeah, Altium. Yeah. Like, let everybody go. Oh no, I've been <laughs> happy at most companies that I've left. You yeah. Know? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> so. Mm. Anyway. <sighs> yeah. Sad to hear that all the MakerBot staff are being laid off, but that's what happens when you get bored. You know, if if people there didn't know that this wasn't going to happen, they're well, now they do. They know that this happens <laughs> no, in big do. companies. So, you know, yeah, yeah. it's like, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's, it, uh, it's, it's inevitable, right? When, when it's a publicly listed company operated by a board of directors, this uh, stuff, it, it must happen. It ultimately always does happen without exception. The only way for it not to happen is for it to be a private company run by a dictator, you know, and that's it. Right. Yeah. Run yeah. By companies one are always person gonna, who you know. Yeah. Right. I think especially at certain sizes, usually companies, you know, they become, they become mm. machines. You know, like that's just how it, yeah, how yeah. it goes. Yeah. Totally. In uh, fact, they're required by law to become machines. A lot of people don't realize this, but publicly mm. listed companies have a fiduciary responsibility to their shareholders to make money. They can't operate at a loss for some, you know, they can't keep on employees making, you know, if those employees are, you know, not making money for the company. It's just, you know, they, they can't do it. It's not a charity. They, they have a legal responsibility to make a profit or attempt to make a profit. So, you know, that's yeah, the, uh, yeah, that, that's what you sign up for when you go for a public company. So, yep. Anyway, um, Bree has made his, you know, hundred million bucks, so he's, you know, yeah. off happy in Stratus's land somewhere. Um, yep, got his extra bonus, I'm sure. Good luck to him. Ah, uh, yeah. <laughs> uh, <laughs> uh, yeah, I was thinking about the. Uh, there was a video actually, uh, and this is actually from the seventies. Where was it? There was a. 70s? Glass blowing video. It was actually the, yeah, it was glass blowing at, at Bell Labs. And so this video is from the, the 79, right? And it's these these guys. So this is kind of like, you know, not the end of the, yeah, I guess it is the end of the tube era, right? But, you know, like right. the glass blowing, you think about it at Bell Labs, where they invented the transistor. Uh, <laughs> uh, <laughs> Yeah, tubes. They, they, uh, so, so you're saying they invented their own demise? That's what you're getting at. Well, yeah. I mean, yeah. I mean, these guys are like artisans. You're not artisans, but like these guys yeah, are like right. serious, right? You know, they're you know they're, they're yeah, of course expert yeah, yeah. glass blowers, and they're at the place where you know transistors completely supplanted them, and you know, uh, mm. I am right about that, right? I, my, why is my brain saying that Bell Labs is wrong? That is right, isn't it? Yeah. Bell Labs. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. Yeah, so, yes. The transistors that have invented at Bell Labs by uh, Shockey. Okay. Yeah. Why is my my brain is just not working right today? Anyways, uh, <laughs> but yeah, and 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 you know, they, so they're talking to these guys, and they're like, yeah, well, you know, times are changing, you know, like it's just, and it's like I'm sure that there are there still are, uh, you know, there's people that still know how to do this stuff because you know there's it's hmm. super super niche now, you know, there's you know there's tube makers and and. Uh, you know Russia, and you know there's like they no well they 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 still make neon signs. The only That's way true, to yeah, make yeah. neon signs is to blow the glass. Yeah, true. I mean people don't people think these neon signs that you still see it, you know, because they're still sort of you know every like companies like neon signs they actually look good, right? And yeah. they're all still hand blowing glass. Huh. There's, there's 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 no way to mass manufacture them like that in yeah. you know custom shapes. So somebody sits there, you order your custom logo in a big neon sign and somebody glass blows it for you in the shape of your logo. Yeah. You know? Yeah. So. Yeah. And I don't know if, I don't know if like, like for this kind of stuff, right? It's like, I don't know. There's not really nostalgia about it, right? Because it's like, like, I think there's just nostalgia for the loss of skills, right? Because like, this is, it is a viable skill. And I'm sure that the guys that were glass blowing went off and became glass blowers elsewhere. Uh, Mm -hmm. But it's not like, you know, we're not losing a ton by not using tubes right so i i don't know it's just <laughs> right. it's it's interesting to think about this kind of thing because uh you know we're hey, kind of but why why are we talking about it now if this happened in the 70s i don't know what brought it up for me <laughs> like i said my my brain's not going what i really wanted to get towards though is like this is coming to other things though like this is like this is an this is indicative of other skill sets right because right okay so like 
so like the, I've got I was just scrolling through the list. There's like there's at least like five things about robots on on the list, right? Including up to and including a robot that uh, attaches to your kitchen cabinets and can be you yeah. know like it emulates chefs. Uh, there's a robot that will feed you tomatoes while you run if you're in Japan. And why why are really... robots? taking off like right now it's got to be because not because the the motor and actuator technology and all that sort of jazz is getting any better right it's all about control systems it and totally software is. and processing grunt yep. right yep and that's that's you know we've hit a you know we've hit a milestone there where it's yeah. just so cheap and easy to you know measure 10 different accelerometers at once and you know and and accelerometers are cheap that's the yeah. other thing Yep, right, you know, exactly. for, for this balancing robot, right? You this R two, what is it, R R eight or whatever? Uh, BB eight, DD eight, BB yeah. BB eight. Um, you know, this, this wouldn't have been, might not have been possible ten years ago. Right? Well, it would, but it would have been with a you know a ten thousand dollar accelerometer, and then you know. The, oh, right. Okay, it know, would have been would, big and clunky and not. Right. Yeah, well, exactly. Yeah, exactly. I mean, like that's that's just how yeah. it goes. And yeah, so I think you're right though. Yeah. There, there's definitely been some kind of inflection point, and I think it's just a confluence of stuff. It's not like robots are any easier, right? I mean, like, like reverse kinematics are yeah. really, really hard. You know, <laughs> yeah, yeah. You have to yeah. like calculate where a, a robot arm is going to go by doing tons of math. But as it's, that it's becomes trivial to do that math these days, it's in a library. You know, you right, just exactly. And as more people it do it, it will become abstracted out, right? And it's just like, okay, yeah, now yeah. it's just a thing. Now right. you just send it a, you know, a vector, and it goes there, right? Like, like stuff like that. Again, I don't know what I'm talking about with that stuff. Yep. I, I don't I don't do robots, right? Um, right. But I think that that you're totally right about you know, and micros are cheap, and everything else is cheap. I think the big thing is still the thing that's holding up everything else, which is batteries, right? Like you know, you look at like the mm. the uh, the pet man was it pet man? One of the the Boston, it was on the list, but one of the the uh, Boston Robotics. Yep. Uh, now owned by Google. Uh, they had a battery version now. It was a while ago. I remember it because it okay. used to be completely, it was like a diesel or, you know, you could hear it like putt-puttering along. And I think it was the one for the DARPA challenge that kind of runs across the desert thing or whatever. Oh, yeah, yeah. One of the DARPA right. ones. But now it's battery yep. powered. It's like, oh, crap. <laughs> there it is. Like, that's the one that might kill me. Yeah. <laughs> right. <laughs> and, you know, like, and it's just like, and but but that's not the crazy thing. Like, those kind of robots are are frightening to think about because of the because we watch Star Wars and you know we've seen <laughs> we've oh. seen we've seen how badly it can be not only rendered by George Lucas but also you know like <laughs> right. you know a potential <laughs> scenario that's bad we've oh. seen Terminator and stuff oh. like that. Dude, I I tweet. It just reminds me. I tweeted this the other day. It was so funny. It has start you know under the title it has started or something where a monkey. Or yeah. A, yeah, I think it was a monkey takes down a quadcopter, an autonomous quadcopter with a stick. <laughs> nice, <laughs> it's brilliant. It's brilliant. We got to link it in. It's great. You got to watch yes. this video. It's like yes, robots are starting and the monkeys are fighting what, back. What you don't understand <laughs> is we are all the monkey. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Oh, it's just great. Yeah, it's a great video. Got to watch it. But it's not. It's not yeah. about. It's not about the chef robot or the the robot. You know, like the robot that's walking or stuff like that. It's the boring robots. It's the, you know, right. Like, it's the ones that they're 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 assembling cars and exactly. Right. It's it's the it's right. you know when we talk about okay we were talking about MakerBot with layoffs right, uh, mm. as, you know and, and like I I always think about that Baxter robot you know like that one, uh Baxter what's the Baxter, ba- Baxter was by. Uh, uh, I forget what, it's a big red robot and it's got like a, a tablet as a face and it's got two arms and you can grab the arms and reprogram it. they were they were at solid conference last year so i got to actually like like be near one oh, right. and it's like okay. and it's and, oh, and I so can what see it is it. right yeah okay so so and it's, it's got like, like a thir- humidity face kind of thing yeah sort of not enough to be like the creepy uh, uh what's it called the, right. the chasm of the mm. cr- yep. not the chasm but whatever there oh no the the valley the right uncanny valley that's it uh, which is the uncanny valley is like as you make a human look or as you look ro- make a robot look more and more human like you you mm-hmm. have to get through the valley and like it doesn't like it basically looks even more creepy at a certain point right. so you just yeah, yeah. you Got should it. keep it on the on the robot yeah. side in order to not creep people out um, anyway this is like an upper body robot like it's got a torso and it's got two arms and it's got a head and right and i'm sure we've talked it about it's it it's got like suction cups for um, you can you can get a bunch of different it? things, but the crazy thing about it is that it's thirty thousand dollars with like all of the features on it, like or twenty three thousand for for just the robot and like two arms, 
and not like I much don't know the about edge. you because you're making you know like millions of dollars from contextual electronics, but to me that's a lot of money. Uh, uh, first off, no, I'm not. Uh, <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> and and second off, uh, it's not though, right? Okay, so if you can train, okay, so and and watch the vi- people should watch the videos. You know, you can you can have. Yeah, but uh, why would you want a general purpose here. robot so, like this? Okay, so so think about. Don't think about. You're not replacing an engineer with this yet. You're not replacing a musician with this yet, right? Right. And, and that's coming, right? I mean, like, there's tons of stuff, whatever. But imagine someone who makes, okay, in Australia especially, right? I mean, the U.S. has terrible labor laws and stuff like that. But, like, in Australia, you have someone who's making, I don't know what the minimum wage is there, like $20 an hour or something like that. They have, you know, state benefits, mm-hmm. stuff like that. Yep. Like, that's $40,000 a year, okay? And and they might be doing something as simple as, Taking something off an assembly line and putting it in a box. Right. You know, granted, box, that's a very right. simple task, yeah, yeah, but yeah. but now you yep. go and and not only that, that person can train this robot to do it. That's what's insane about it. Right. Yeah. So now that person trains this robot to do it, and okay, so forty thousand dollars. Yeah, you replace that one year. Ah ah ah. That's an eight hour day, eight hours a day job. You can get four shifts yes. out of this robot by running twenty four seven. Like that's yes. You've now got it. Quadrupled. Got it. Your investment. So. It's like I. But but why why does it have to look like it? Like what is so different about this? Why isn't it just like you can buy these like robot arms? Why does it have to look like a human? Why does it have to have a torso and a face with a dot matrix screen with some eyes that you know like? like ah, because it's why? meant to work alongside humans. That's that's actually the reason oh, they talk about that. Like, so you can see oh, as really? as it's okay. going to move its arm, right. it moves its eyes there first. That's what it. Yeah. No, that's that's the thing. They, I mean, like this is like human behavior studies that were done. You know, like and right. like it'll stop, but it's saying that like as the eyes move, it's gonna move its arm where it's looking because that's what people do, right? And these right. are these are cues that humans can pick up on. Right. So people feel safer around it because it's turning its head to look where it's moving its arm. Right. Exactly. And if in, instead of just an, instead of just a robot arm with nothing else, and the robot arm just goes. Well, how would you do a robot arm then too? Like, how would you actually mount that? I mean, like, like the human well, interaction. Well, it just piece, mounts on the bench, right? It just mounts uh-huh. on the bench, and then it does whatever operation it needs on the bench. Yeah, but now right? you're thinking you're thinking about a very specific situation as well, right? And oh yeah, but yeah, but yeah, but. Look, Dave, the, the I mean, only, like, you don't so, have to so agree with saying, it. Like, that's the no, thing. No, like, I mean, like, no, it doesn't no, no. matter. You're, you're saying the only reason this looks like a human is not for functionality, but because to make it more appealing to a human that might have to work next to it. Not appealing, but, like, just in terms of workflow safety and, you know, programmability and f- functionality and yeah, stuff like you that. Yeah, but you can get that without making it look like a human. Right, but if you need why to move this thing, why does it have to look like a human? Yeah, but why do, why does it have to have a human... head with an eye and a face? Oh, that why? why explain the eyes already? And and the, the like that's yeah, just yeah, that's just a human that, interaction thing. That's what I'm talking about, right? That's the only So this that's is why they've made this look like a human. Uh, I think you're focusing on the wrong thing here, Dave. The uh, fo- focus on the economics of it. That, that, that's what's crazy about this. Like, so there's a there's I a. I understand ne- the economics of robots. Okay. Of course I do. But it's not just robots. Just- I mean, like, so so this is where it's interesting, right? Because we're talking about, and I, and I I can already I I'm now remembering the show where we talked about this because you and I were we got in an argument at the end of the show similar to this where we started talking about replacing engineers too, right? Right. And. And it just becomes it, it becomes an interesting thought exercise of, okay, you know, they're gonna replace certain menial tasks and stuff like that. But mm-hmm. what I wonder about is, you know, not that people can't learn to be engineers and doctors and and things like that. But like, like if you look at the population, like not all of them are going to. You know, I think that there should be more focus on trades and stuff like that. That's obviously very important. But, but even that, you know, like there's there's optimizations there as well. And yeah, but what do people we do? Live, w- w- look, we live in a Star Wars like real world, right? Everything's dirty, gritty, random. 
You know, like these robots are great if you're setting up a production line. But apart from a production line, it's not like you're going to have one of these robots in your local pub serving you beer, right? No, it wouldn't look like this. Because you can't talk to it. It can't move around. It can't No, it can't you're thinking about that to, all wrong, though. Uh, Dave. Why? If you were going to set up a robot in a pub, you wouldn't set it up to look like this. You would set it up to look like a beverage dispenser at a McDonald's. You know, like, and, and you have it check against how many drinks you have. You know, you insert your, your ID. It says, oh, you've had five drinks and you're cut off or you've had one drink. And, oh, by the way, you love, you know, like, there's already drink bots to do this kind yeah, of thing. Yeah, it, it, but it doesn't go around and clean up the glasses. It doesn't talk to you. It doesn't smile at you. It doesn't interact with you. It can't uh, take your money and change. And, like, like you know, <laughs> Dave, it's just Dave, do, do you ever million... use the self-checkout at, at the grocery store? Do you guys, you guys have self-checkouts <laughs> yeah, at, like, at, like convenience stores? Yes, and... we do. Yes. Do you, do you prefer? Do you prefer talking to the people that work the checkout lane versus doing it yourself? Sometimes the checkout lane is faster. Sometimes yeah, I, the I don't, human I don't, checkout is faster. They're much better at bagging, at scanning, and much quicker at scanning things and bagging stuff than I am. Right. But, okay, would you rather wait in a line for people long or go do it? No. I mean, like, like, oh, no. All of this, what I, I'm I, saying I, is, when, like, okay, it's when, coming when whether I'm we want it or there, not. I go, which one's... Uh, yeah, I know it is, but I'm just saying it, they're not as great as you think they are, right? They're, they're, not, they're not, but as... that's, that's the other thing. They're going to get and, better. And, 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 and the you, important saying... thing here is that I am actually encouraging our – encouraging – why does that sound weird to me? I'm encouraging our audience to be the ones to build it because the people who are building it, I think that's it. I I think that's the last job that's left. I mean, like, yeah. like It's no, this is where you're wrong, right? You're saying that there will be no jobs left for anyone in, you know, 50 years time because robots will be doing everything. I say, I'm calling bullshit. Right? I didn't say the world, any jobs. The world is I'm too just... random. The, the world is too dirty, gritty, Star Wars-like random. Robots can't handle that shit. Only humans can. Right now, yeah, only I agree. humans can do it. No, I, Ugh, dude, yeah. come on, man. <laughs> no, I, yeah. <laughs> you know, one of my favorite phrases is I don't want to sound disparaging, but you know, one of my favorite phrases is think oh. think of the American, the average American intelligence. Half of them are dumber <laughs> right. than that. <laughs> now, of course, you can insert your own country yeah, here. You I'm don't not. have to say American, but just like, come on, man. Like, yeah, like it's. But they're still humans. They're just... still humans. They're infinitely, infinitely more uh, versatile <laughs> than a robot at, at just random yeah, general no, you're right, you're right. stuff. Actually, unexpected stuff. Unexpected right now, shit happens. Robots can't deal with right it. Right now, the best robot, I think they talk about the best robot is the same dexterity and like and like matching capabilities of like a two-year-old. So yeah, you're totally right. Yeah, and and I think it's not going right to it's not going to accelerate as quickly as you think it is. <laughs> everybody in the right. audience, everybody listening right now who is working on, no. you know, neural networks and Yeah, you know, well, good on them. I yeah, it's great. I fantastic. I support it, but I it's like your bloody chip printer, right? We it's would not love happen. to have it, someone on. If you know anyone quick. who we should be talking to about this, we would love to talk to them. Granted, most of them will probably be able to. I would love to talk to them too, but they're still, they're still <sighs> not going to be right that, oh, in 10 or 20 years' time, nobody will have jobs because we're all replaced by robots. Bullshit. I didn't say that, Dave. I'm saying... <laughs> that, I didn't say nobody's going to have jobs. I'm saying it, 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 it quick... In, ter- in terms of economics... It becomes a problem not at 100% don't have jobs. It becomes a problem at a lot lower, right? Oh, yeah, true, true. Oh, yeah, no, I, I don't doubt that robots are going to displace a lot of people. Absolutely. Absolutely. freaking lutely But what it's I'm already, really like, saying it, it, it is... It's already happened in many industries. The audio even industry in a best-case scenario, right? Even... So just just imagine, like, you know, like... like God, there's, there's, there's other podcasts about this, too. I'll try and, like... I think it was on... Uh, on the Innovation Hub podcast, they talked about some of this stuff as well. Uh, it might have been that Ben Yolfson book, the the MIT guy, and I think it might have been that or whatever. But all I can think about is when you replace, when you start replacing, you know, white collar accounting type work, right? I mean, like, uh, you know, doctor uh, uh, diagnosis type work. Just even if you just start shaving stuff off from automation and and just improving workflows you start to need less people and that's fine that's probably good net net right right? i mean that's good 
I can't figure out what happens after that though. Like, what do people do? I I look around right now. I was I was in <laughs> I was at a casino, which I I'm not a huge fan of casinos, but there were some friends, and I was just looking around at like all these people spending lots of money, and I'm just like, <laughs> what do people do for a living? <laughs> now right. I know that like you know people can spend money. I, at... I often think that too. You know, I go to the local shopping center yeah. during during a work day, right? I because I've got a job that allows that yeah, flexibility, right. and I go. This shopping center's packed. Don't, what do don't people, all these people do? have jobs? I know. You know like, yeah, and like, I, I I'm sure that there's yeah. just, you know, I'm not thinking, oh, there's, yeah, yeah. well, there's government jobs and there's, you know, there's all these teaching jobs. Maybe they're off for the summer, blah, yeah. blah, 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 blah. Like, you know, like, yeah, okay, fine. You know, like, yeah, but I like, know. even when I'm looking at a crowd of, you know, if I go to like a sporting event and there's 100,000 people there, or if I'm at like, yeah. you know, like right. in an airport and it's just like, what do people do for a living? You know what I mean? Like, yep. Yep. <laughs> The end of this. The end and of this podcast, think, guys. Got uh, very uh, hippie-ish. Like, yo, man. Like, what do people do? <laughs> yeah, I know. <laughs> and we can only find the a- answer under the influence of drugs. You know? <laughs> <laughs> like, <laughs> no, see, the the answer is we are not. You know, we are, we have a very limited view of the world we know our little industry and stuff like that but there are countless industries we have never haven't even heard of it's just you know it's the big wide dirty complex world that we yeah. live in we're just yeah. so ignorant of all these things out there that's the answer there is you know there's a thousand a hundred thousand times more different fields than you think there are yeah that or, Look, or or that you can imagine from your limited experience with the world, right? Okay, yeah, I t- totally take that. That's the answer. Totally agree with that. You know? But, <laughs> but there is no but. That's the end. The I would end. like to say one more thing. <laughs> I I am all for robots. Let me just say that up front, and not because I think they're going to come for us and kill us, and I should try and get on their good side. I'm all for robots because it in, it increases, you know, like quality of life for you know the the, like in terms of you know product cost drop and you know efficiencies become greater and you know automation helps me every single day when i use google maps and all these other things right i'm all for it it's just that i don't know what like hell i'm not all for it i'm building a robot in contextual electronics you know like this is like right like i think it's important that we you know we all work on this stuff but i just don't get what's on the other side and yeah maybe it's just called the future but i don't think it's I, is, it looks different from, I, I, from I past history. I think you're worried history. too much because of your ignorance or all of our ignorance. Yeah, maybe. Of how maybe complex just, the world is. I think, maybe you'll just be right. retired by the time this matters. Uh, so <laughs> right. You just okay. don't care. And, and it's Sagan's <laughs> problem, right? Exactly. Is it mine? Exactly. Yeah. No, and, and well, well, that's the thing, right? It is definitely, it is definitely uh, you know, a generation or two right problem away right okay it's not going to be Fine. a problem I, in the next 25 years right in 50 I, years I, meh, you know yeah, i don't have kids but i'm planning to you know like but what about for them yeah. right i mean like okay yeah fine i i just i don't know man it's just yeah i think the answer will sort itself out i think you don't have to worry <laughs> all right i think you should just yep. Th- thinkers of big thoughts will will look at this and pet man will Come and tell me what to do. That's <laughs> that's the. <laughs> oh goodness! Yeah, maybe uh, we should be an answer in the upcoming Star Wars movie. Yeah, we can. I hope know, so. They've got I hope all so. the. We should end on a positive note because I'm not feeling good right now. <laughs> uh, that, that that's your problem. That's your problem right there in a nutshell. What what's my problem? You don't feel good about it. I do. Right. That's, yeah, but some people would be difference. saying that you're the ignorant one. Maybe you're not thinking about it enough. Huh? Huh? <laughs> Let them. Okay. Uh, I think... Uh, what's the good news, Dave? There must be know. some good news. You're the one telling uh, the story. I think... Okay, since it's actually still related to robots. Uh, both... DJI and 3D Robotics now have cameras that basically like <laughs> sort of like a thousand bucks you can buy effectively a robot and like get some of the most 
gorgeous. I'm really excited for the future of aerial photography. Obviously, it's already gotten like right. you know a thousand times better, but like like now it's kind of like mass market and like anyone can buy one of these and like make these. I don't know if you ever watched like that, uh, like the GoPro channel and stuff like that. Like I don't have the GoPro channel, no, but I've I've right. caught clips. Like you just get like some of the craziest views that you never see. Yep. Actually, yep. there was no, no. there was a awesome. Reddit post of a guy that uh, he took he t- he he took his quadcopter and he was going to all these different sites, all these historical sites all over the world, and he took a picture of the mm-hmm. Taj Mahal, and it was where you know it was an angle. He was like outside the gates, but he like took an angle of it. And he and and it was the post that that got me about it. It was like he's like this this view has literally never been done because no one's allowed to do aerial photography around it. You know he obviously yeah. snuck in there. And yeah, it's just right. Like, holy crap! Like now expand that to the rest of the world, and it's like yeah. you don't have to be on a cliff edge anymore to get a shot of something. You know you can just hmm. throw your quad in the air and get amazing shots. It's just like that. That is very exciting to me. So, oh yeah, totally. I'm so I'm so into that sort of thing. Did you ever, you were looking at one or did you get one or no? No, I was, well, we were trying to design our own to go through a canyon. We were trying to design oh, our that's autonomous right. yeah. canyon yeah. copter. Yep. Yeah. Yep. And yeah. now it's like, yeah, you can probably buy something commercial off the shelf that's going to do the business. So. Right. But do you really care if, yep. like, I mean, like you would do that, right? You just put some floaties on it and be like, dude, awesome shot. Oh, yeah, Who yeah, cares? Yeah. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. yeah. Yep. Totally. Yeah. Because it's too much work to develop your own from scratch. You know, it's like, yeah, you really have to devote a lot of time and effort to it. Yeah. So, yep. Robots. <laughs> That's positive <laughs> robots. <laughs> right. Oh, goodness. Oh, man. Oh. Go and lie down. I think I um, will. I think it might be yep. it might be beer o'clock around, around Cleveland. So. <laughs> I-, <laughs> I, need <to> go- <laughs> I need to go get my robot dispensed beer. <laughs> <laughs> this is not the Sad. last show that we'll talk about robots, folks. I'm sure this is going to come up again. So, in the meantime, I, I should know go how actually we got work. onto robot rants. Where did that come from? In this, uh, it was uh, glass, oh. glass at Bell Labs. I don't remember why that came up. I'll have to go oh, right. to, listen to yeah, the tape. Right. But, uh, Such a random show. I'm gonna go work on my robot. So, I'll uh, right. next fun. week. I'll be uh, in Serbia. Uh, we'll see if we have a show. I'm not sure. Yeah, we may not. Yep. Yeah. Yep. Okay. See you. All right. Later. (coughs) That's like three weeks I've had this shit. Yeah. You need Check to get one, like a uh, saltwater. Ri- you ever seen those uh, neti pots? You should get one of those things. No. Wait. Oh, wait. I got to see if I can get you the neti pot uh, <laughs> GIF. This is a, a hilarious GIF. <laughs> yeah, this is it. Here we go. Uh, link sent. <laughs> oh, someone added it to it. Oh, gee. <laughs> <laughs> what the? Oh, what? The... <laughs> <laughs> they added, obviously, they added the glasses afterwards. But like, this is yeah, just like yeah. this this video. You know, they did it for, you know, to show how to use it. <laughs> it's just so like nonchalant too. It's just like hmm, water in one side, water out the other. <laughs> That's funny. So yeah, you should do that.